What's up YouTube, JP here and today we're going to look at PS2 emulation on the Xbox Series S. Now before I go any further I just want to give a massive shout out to Cav the Gamer. I'm going to put a link to his YouTube channel in the description so please go check him out. He's got some really useful guides and this video wouldn't have been possible without his help. I also want to thank you guys, my subscribers, for getting me to 3000 subs. I am going to be giving away the Xbox Series S but not in this video, it will be the next video. So without any further delays, let's dive in. Now, as you might have seen from one of my previous videos, we installed RetroArch on the Xbox Series S and everything was running great, apart from one system, and that was the PlayStation 2. So I followed all the instructions to get it up and running. The BIOSes are in place, etc. But if we have a look and we go into PS2 games and we just click on one of these games at random, we tell it that we want to use the PCSX2 core. But what you'll find that will happen is RetroArch will crash and it just sends you straight back to the dashboard. Now I spent many of hours trying to figure this out and get it working. And I stumbled across a YouTuber called Cav the Gamer. Now, massive shout out to him. He was so helpful in getting PlayStation 2 emulation running on this Series S. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel below, and this guide would not have been possible without him. So, let's look at getting this set up. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is change your location to Brazil. So if we can have a look in here, I've already changed mine. Now, once you've got this application installed and it's all set up, you can change your location back to where you actually um, live. So once you've got that done, you wanna go into the Edge browser and also in the description below will be four links. Now, this, these are the links you're gonna to wanna to put in here. So let's quickly put these links in So there we go, we've put the link in. Now we're gonna hit go. Open the store. And there we go. We can see Ether SX2, which is the emulation application and core. So I don't need to install this, I've already done it, but go, in, go into it, click install, and then on your home screen, you'll have the Ether SX2 application. So now what you can do is you can go back into your local location settings, look for where you are, which I'm in the United Kingdom, and I should have restarted my console there. Restart now. Right, so the console's restarted, we're back at the home screen, Let's launch the application. Now there's one thing that you do have to do straight away, and that's tell it where your BIOS is. So I currently have the PlayStation 2 BIOS in a folder called PCSX2. I know that's irrelevant for this uh, emulator, but I'm just telling it where the PS2 BIOSes are. Forward slash BIOS. Now that's on the D drive because it's on the USB hard drive that's connected to the Xbox Series S. So once you have that set, another thing you'll want to change is back into the settings, go to your game list directory, and then if you keep clicking parent, the D drive, games, PlayStation 2, use this directory and you can rescan all games so when we go to open game list here's all the games so now what we're going to do is we're going to play a few games and look at the performance and I'll have the FPS at the top right so we can see how well the games are running so let's jump in to some gameplay <laughs> Oh. 
Right guys, I'm going to end the video here and I just want to give another big shout out to Rav the Gamer for helping me out get the PS2 emulation running on the Xbox Series S. If you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now in the next video, I will be revealing who won the Xbox Series S. But until then, I'll catch you in the next one.